Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and this is an important announcement today. Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 Preview 3 is released just six days before I'm recording this video. And also the important news is this, .NET Core 2.0 Preview 2 is also released six days before I'm recording this video, which is really, really a great news. And it's really great news for me because as a tester, as an automation test engineer, and that too for executeautomation.com, this news has come as a surprise because it also supports Selenium right now. Yes, you hear it right. Now Visual Studio 2017 Preview 3 and .NET Core 2.0 Preview 2 actually support Selenium libraries. It is not mentioned here anywhere, and the reason is because, because the .NET Core 2.0 Preview 2 supports close to 20,000 plus APIs and it has converted into .NET Core right now. This is really, really cool. And also Visual Studio 2017 preview is important for the .NET Core to be executed because without Visual Studio 2017 preview version 15.3, the .NET Core 2.0 is not gonna run. So what we have to do for running Selenium with Visual Studio 2017 15.3 version, which is nothing but the preview three, as well as the preview 2 of .NET Core. Well, it is very, very simple. All you have to do is just download the preview 2 of .NET Core. So you can just go over here and you can see there is a downloadable version of the preview 2. Basically, it is very, very simple. Just choose which version of Windows operating system you are running. If you are running in a Mac operating system, you can do that as well. And for Linux, it's only 64 bit supported right now. And you can see the number of versions of Linux being supported. So mine is 64-bit version, so I'm going to download that. It's downloading right now. And if you go to the Visual Studio 2017 preview, again, this is not something which is available here, the full version. Rather, it is going to be an early access to Visual Studio. So you can download it, and the good news is you can run them side by side, which means if I have Visual Studio 2017, the latest and the greatest version, which is released to the public, or the GA, I can run that as well as with the Visual Studio, which is this one, the preview version side by side. It is not really gonna harm your machine anytime, so you can download that as well, right? So you can download the community edition, at least for the trying out of the .NET Core along with the latest version of Visual Studio, right? So the installation is again pretty straightforward, but before I install, I'm gonna quickly show you what .NET version I actually have. So you can just go to the uh, command prompt and hit .NET hyphen hyphen version, and then you can see the current version I have, which is nothing but the .NET Core version I have is 1.0.4. So if I install the .NET Core preview version, you can see that it is in preview right now. I'm just gonna install that. And now if you see the version, you can see that eventually the version is gonna change. So from version, you can see that right now it is not available because it is installing. And you can see right now it is version 2.0 preview 2. 0006497, right? So that's the version of the uh, .NET Core it is. And that's the very good thing right now. Again, it is a preview version. So if you're gonna try it in your machine, it may end up with some kind of bugs. So Microsoft has also announced that, that there is some kind of issues with it if you install it, maybe. So again, it's maybe, right? All right, and then coming back to Visual Studio, Preview version of installation is again very, very simple. You can just double click and you can see that it is gonna install pretty much as usual, like how you do with the Visual Studio 2017 uh, GA version. So I'm not gonna quickly install and do that in my machine at least for this one. Rather, I have a virtual machine of Windows 10 available already. And I have already installed the .NET Core as well as the Visual Studio 2017 Preview 3. Right, so you can you can see what version I have. So I can just put .NET hyphen hyphen version. You can see right now I have the .NET Core version 2.0. That is great. And I also have the Visual Studio 2017 preview. So I'm gonna open that and you can see there is a preview in here and also in the splash screen of the Visual Studio, which means it's a preview version. And right now, if you create any project it is gonna to point to the .NET Core 2.0 or 1.1 by default. So, as I said before, right now, .NET Core version 2.0 Preview 2 is also supporting Selenium. That's the most important thing of this video as a whole. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to create a project, maybe a unit test project, which is going to be of .NET Core. You can see that it is .NET Core, not the one which we use to install or do with the uh, framework version 4. For instance, if you go to the uh, full version of the .NET that I have, uh, which is the general available Visual Studio 2017, I'm not really going to go to here and I'm going to use the framework 4.5.2. It is not core version, but I'm going to work with the .NET Core version, right? Even though it is listed as 4.6.1 here, it is .NET Core, as you can see in the bracket, it is .NET Framework, right? They both are different. But if you go to the .NET Core, it has .NET Core in here, right? So I'm going to select the .NET Core and I'm going to select the unit test project in my virtual machine. And then I'm going to give a name here, maybe Selenium uh, with core Two. So I'm going to work with that and create a project. And once I start creating a project, you can see that since it is a .NET Core project, it is going to restore some kind of NuGets, uh, which are actually used for uh, the project. So it is going to do that. All right, the project is created. And you can see that the dependency is currently building up right now. So you can see it's restoring the packages. All right, seems like everything is done right now. And now we have a dependency being restored. Uh, you can see that the NuGet, uh, it has the uh, dependencies. Everything is pretty cool. Everything is available. And now we have to install the Selenium for Visual Studio Core. But if you don't believe me how it is gonna work, uh, let's quickly go over here. This is my .NET Core, which I have already in this particular machine, which is my physical machine or the host machine. And let's say Selenium with uh, Core, uh, preview uh, 2 uh, but right now this is not the Visual Studio which actually supports the preview of uh, preview 2 of .NET Core and now if I go over here to the Solution Explorer and you can see that the target framework which support is actually uh, .NET Core app 1.1 so it currently even though we installed the uh, version 2 preview already this particular Visual Studio is really not going to support the target framework 2.0 out of the box The reason is because that's not general available. So this won't support the preview version of framework right now But if you go to my virtual machine and if you go to the uh, project property of this particular project I have you can see that the target framework is currently .NET Core 2.0 that's what is really going to bring us the feature of the preview. So you can really see the greatest and the latest feature which is being pushed by the Microsoft team before it is actually available to the general public. Right, cool. So now we have a version 2.0 of the preview version of a .NET Core. And now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to the manage new get packages and then I'm going to browse what is called as Selenium and I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that we have a Selenium web driver. So I'm going to install that. And you can see that it's going to start installing. So I'm not going to really uh, show this flash screen again. I'm going to hit OK. So it is installing that for me. There we go. It's done. And then I'm also going to install the Selenium support. You can see that it is pretty much working like really, really like a real Selenium with the .NET 4, which was working before, which is really, really awesome because this was something which was not working earlier and it is currently supported. And also I'm going to install the Chrome driver because I'm going to run the Chrome uh, browser uh, for running the test. All right. See, everything is installed. It's all working. And if you go to the NuGet, there is uh, information here uh, showing that the uh, there is a compatibility problem uh, because uh, it is actually targeted to version 4.6.1, but currently it is uh, version 2. So you may cause compatibility problem. That's what it is saying but it actually works, right? So since that's what I'm saying, since it's in a preview version, there is some kind of message, something like this, but maybe in the future version, while it go to the general availability, we don't see these kind of errors anymore. Right, cool. And now coming back to the test, it is gonna be very simple again. And once again, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's say if I go to my 2017 of the real machine, which is nothing but my host machine, where I don't really actually have Visual Studio 2017 preview three. And now if I go to the dependencies, I'm going to add a new get package. And if I search for Selenium and if I try to install that, you will see what is going to happen. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to install it. You can see that 
Ooh, the package registration failed. Rolling back package change. So it is actually not being supported with this particular framework, which is nothing but 1.1 of .NET Core. It is not supported. So I'm gonna close this particular window completely. So I'm gonna jump over to my virtual machine and you can see that this guy is actually working. That's what I'm saying. The preview version of .NET Core actually supports Selenium. And now we can write a very, very simple test and I'm gonna run that test for the first time ever on the internet. We are gonna see how the Selenium is actually gonna run in Visual Studio Core. So it's very simple. Again, the code is not gonna be different for Visual Studio Core. Yeah, it's pretty much the same API. So iWebDriver driver is equal to new of uh, Chrome driver and let me add the references for them it's pretty much exactly the same thing how you do with the normal selenium uh, with the dot net uh, framework and then driver dot navigate dot go to url http execute automation and then once it is navigated i'm just going to print a message maybe console and you can see that the console is not coming in here because it's not added in the reference uh, that we need to add using system system console dot right line of test completed there we go very very simple test just to see how things are working right so everything is uh, right now available so i'm going to build this particular solution but if you try to run this test, actually it's gonna fail and you will understand why it is failing in a minute. So uh, I'm just waiting for my test explorer to show the test method. All right, but before that, I also forgot one important thing, which is actually uh, referring the Chrome driver path because I have not set that in my environment variable yet. So I'm gonna physically uh, locate that path, which is not a good practice though, but still I'm gonna do that for now. So uh, let me, copy the path and i'm gonna paste it over here uh, let me remove this guy chrome driver and add a here string symbol all right so let me run this test you will see that the test is going to fail actually and the reason is because there is one more package uh, that we need to reference because that is also in preview stage right now you can see that here uh, it is actually system.security.permissions so we need to add that particular thing as well so this is the one reason because of that the test was actually not running before in preview one as well so i'm going to go back to my dependencies once again i'm going to go to the manage nuget package and i'm going to browse for system.security.permission do i see anything no security at least yeah and let's search for permission by just scrolling somehow for some reason uh, the permission is not coming even if I search there we go so now we have this uh, system dot security dot permission so I'm gonna install that and you can see that this is actually a latest to pre-release version so this is also not available yet so I'm gonna install that there we go so now everything is cool. Now if you run the test, for sure the test is gonna run, I guess. So I'm gonna cross my finger and I'm gonna run the test. Hopefully this should open the browser and navigate to exitautomation.com and in the console, it should write test completed. That's it, that's the very simple test it is gonna do. Yay, there we go. We see that Visual Studio, for the first time, is running the Selenium with .NET Core and this is not happening till six days before for the selenium lifetime and you can see that it is running and it is opening the browser it is navigating to the exitautomation.com and it is also going to close the browser so what is the real possibility of dotnet core why i'm so excited with dotnet core being running the selenium it's pretty much the same code well this has opened the whole new world actually we can use the selenium code which is selenium c sharp code to run the test on Mac, Linux, and Windows operating system as well as in the Docker's machine using a same code. So now we don't really have to port our code to Java and run the test. So now within the Azure Docker containers, I can just run the test and also I can run the test in any of the environments with the same code. I don't really have to modify the code for each and every environments right now, which I was doing before. That's the real great power 
of .NET Core itself. And now you can see that the test got passed, and if I hit the output, you can see that test completed send output is there, right? So this is how we can work with the Selenium with .NET Core Preview 2.0 and Visual Studio 2017 Preview 3. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and have a great day.